A in your iOS app. The first tab to, to write down those parameters required in your plugin um, settings. It should have the correct version ID and the correct capabilities and networks. Next step, you need to add this Apple Pay capability under signing capabilities and write the correct version ID. The next step, you need to create a sandbox tester account under developer.apple.com. The next step is you log log it in with uh, on your physical device this tester account, and under Apple Wallet you need to add those test card numbers. In my case, it's Mastercard and Visa. You can check with those cards you need to test. On the next step you go to your payment provider and you create under certificates you create a certificate signing request to upload it to Apple's site that that need to be done to let Apple and your payment provider to interact with each other using this channel so after you created this certificate you go to Apple identifiers, merchant IDs, then you search a merchant ID that you already created before, then you hit create certificate, upload the, cre uh, the pr previously created certificate signing request from Sberbank in my case, and then you hit create a certificate, and you don't need to download it, just skip to the next step. The next step, after you set it up um, on your physical device, after you compile your app, with all these capabilities done, you can test a payment. So to pay, you only need to hit that Apple Pay and button and then you should be able to choose the right card that you just added. It should, it should have only test cards. It shouldn't have any real cards in your case, in your Apple Wallet or your Sandbox tester account. So after you hit uh, to pay, with Apple Pay, you should see that badge uh, coming out with that uh, right with that right parameters as well. Like it should it should be written sandbox, and it should has the same number as you added, so it should be the same card. <laughs> so after that step, you can check under your payment provider's web page uh, console that you have that transaction, that newly created transaction. So that proves that you created and added the right Apple Pay capability in your app. So the next step, the last step actually, is to test it with a real card. So in my case, I logged out from the test box account. I logged it with my real account. I added my real card and I can see that now I can pay it with my card. That means it works. Thanks for watching.